Dave Warner here, half time at the football. Today I want to talk about hometown umpiring. Now I've been banging on about this for 10 years and I've done a lot of statistics on it. There's a couple of statistics that I use, but today I'm going to talk about this games of large differential or gold games. I define these as games in which one side gets 56% or more of free kicks and the other 44% or less. So only those games where one side gets 56% or more or 44% or less for the opponent. I think that's a reasonably large differential. That's why I call it gold gains. Now, traditionally over the last five years, uh, it's been very, very heavily weighted against non-Victorian sides. Although I have to say, whenever teams play away, they are more likely going to be uh, penalised than not. But let's have a look at how the umpires have rectified uh, last year, because last year many of you will remember the 2016 Grand Final, which was a blight on the game. I think it was 20 free kicks to 8. Um, a massive uh, a free kick uh, imbalance in favour of the Bulldogs. And yes, I am a Swans fan, but uh, they got a very raw deal from the umpires. So has the umpiring department redressed that and given the non-Victorian sides a better chance this year? Well, they have in a way, but let's have a look how they've done it. What they've done is they've actually made it even worse for everybody. So when Vic home teams play um, Vic away teams, usually in Victoria, sometimes in Tasmania, 13 v 2 is how the games of large differential have gone to the home side. 13 times the home side has received 56% or more of free kicks. Only two times the away side has received 56% um, or more. When non-Vic play uh, non-Vic home, play non-Vic away, so for example, Port Adelaide is playing Fremantle, it's 4v2 in favour of the home team, 4v2. When non-Vic home teams uh, host Victorian away teams, it's 16 2 So this is where it's corrected because normally what happens is the Vic away teams uh, are penalised but not as badly as the non-Vic teams when they have to play away. But here, non-Vic home teams, 16 2 So the Vic away teams are really copying it this year. Vic home to non-Vic away. That's almost as bad, 14 to 3. So 14 times when one team gets 56% or more of free kicks, it's the Victorian home team. Three times, it's the non-Vic away team. And of those three times, two of them are the West Coast Eagles, who distort the figures and make it look uh, like, tend to make it look like the non-Victorian teams do better. But generally speaking, this is just a huge bias because the West Coast Eagles are the most favoured team of all in umpiring. So our hometown bias, the umpiring department, the AFL, Gillan McLaughlin will tell you hometown bias doesn't exist. That's rubbish. Look at the difference over all of these categories. 47 to 9. That's a blight on the game. That's a disgrace. Umpires are being influenced, clearly influenced by the crowd. 47 times to 9. We've got to, get, we've got to stamp out this, get rid of hometown umpiring. I don't know what the answer is. Maybe we bring in some Latvians and teach them how to umpire the game and then we'll get better. But 47 to 9 is no good. Last year, the, uh, the Vic home sides against the non-Vic away was about 21 to 2, I think it was, up until the grand final. So that's heading in the same way. But unfortunately, for the Victorian sides, they're copying it away just as much. This isn't good enough. There's a lot of money spent on football. Let's get the umpiring right.